of us know what softball is, but do you actually know how to pitch a softball? Softball and baseball can be similar in many ways, but in the pitching world they are completely different. In this video, I will be teaching you the mechanics of how to pitch a softball and how to master it. Of course, practice does make you better, so keep on practicing when you are pitching. Finally, let's get to the field and let's play some ball. Stretching is probably one of the most important things you can do for your body. So what you want to do for your upper body is move your arms circular five times. Five times forward and five times back. And for your lower body stretch, bring your feet together, keeping your legs straight. Put your toes as far as you can and count to 10 seconds. After, do a jog around the field to get your heart rate up. After doing basic stretching, I will give you the materials you will need and will teach you how to set up your lower body in order to have that successful strike. The materials you will need for this is a water, cleats, a glove, a catcher with a glove, and a ball. The proper lower body mechanics will teach you power and direction. Put your right foot on top of the mount while your left foot is behind. If left-handed, put your left foot in the front while your right foot in the back. Key to having a legal pitch is having both feet on the rubber until the ball is being delivered. Once both feet are on the mount, kick with your back foot out while your front foot is pushing off the mount. This will bring you closer to the batter and have more momentum and speed. Once your feet is in position like so, you want your body to form the letter K. When forming the K while you are pushing off the mound, your goal is to pounce towards the plate. The direction of your hips will determine where the ball goes. The key to pitching the ball straight is to step towards your target. Your hips should be sideways during the entire windup and release. The key to having extra power during your pitch is stepping aggressively towards your target. Your legs will determine how fast the pitch is going while the hips is determining the direction of where it is. After teaching you the lower body mechanics, I will now be teaching you upper body mechanics. With the upper body mechanics, I will be teaching you how to hold the fastball and how to do the windup. For your hand placement on the fastball, put your three middle fingers on top of the seam, making it look like the letter C. Your thumb and pinky should be on the outside of the letter C, holding the ball on the sides. Your hip should be sideways to the plate while your left arm is out front and your right arm is behind your right ear. Switch arm direction if left handed. Follow these steps in order to start and finish your wind up. The ball you have in your left hand should go inside of your glove, hiding the ball inside. Hiding the ball inside of your glove will help you hide the type of pitch you are giving to the batter. Move your right arm back, bringing the same le arm level to your shoulder. You will switch which arm goes back if you are left handed. Move your left arm close to your chest, making your glove point towards the opposite shoulder horizontally. While moving your arms back towards your chest, you will use your lower body to rock back, generating the power to pitch. Once rocked back, you will start to deliver the pitch to the batter. Once your arm is level to your shoulder, bring your right arm level to your knee, bringing your right arm rotating towards the batter. When you are at 180 degrees at your head, extend your left arm from pointing your shoulder towards your target. Finish the 180 degree rotation with your right arm towards your back knee. Release the pitch by having your right arm release the ball at your hip, peeling the ball off from your fingertips. Finish the pitch by having your right arm run across your opposite shoulder. Don't know why the ball is going too low or too high? I have the perfect solution for you. If the ball is going too low, you are finishing too early. If the ball is going too high, you are releasing too late. To have the perfect pitch, you want to release it here. Then you can finally learn how to pitch a softball. Congratulations! Now once you start learning the pitch, don't expect to become Jenny Finch, but instead give yourself a pat on the back for trying something new. Softball can seem like a slow game every now and then, but once you get to play the game for yourself, it seems like a fast game. Softball is a great sport once you get to know the basics, and I encourage each and every one of you to try to understand the game. Now get up from that couch, stop watching Netflix, and play some ball. <laughs>